Glory Divine World Ministries is a place to call home. Come and allow God to unleash your potential, purpose, and destiny. The way, the truth, and the life, and nobody comes to the Father except through Him and through the blood of Jesus. Because of His unconditional love, hallelujah, He sent His only begotten Son, and that is Jesus Christ, to die so He can reconcile Himself to you. to come and be a part of our glory divine family you never choose jesus he chose you welcome to glory divine network tv with your host apostle ryan suknanan let's get ready to listen to the divinely inspired word of god amen, amen. praise the lord amen. church i greet you all in the awesome the powerful name of our lord and our savior jesus christ on behalf of our spiritual parents, Apostle Ryan and Mama Nisha, we'd love to welcome each and every one of you to Glory Divine World Ministries, a place to call them. And those that are watching us online, we'd love to welcome you in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This is Divine Connection. And we trust and believe that the presence of the Lord is going to have an impact on you tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. By show of hands, who is ready for the word of God? Hallelujah. Let me see you clap for Jesus this evening. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's go.
is good. Of God, you may take your seats just for a few seconds. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I believe that it's good to give. Amen. It's very good to give in the mighty name of Jesus. In the book of Deuteronomy 8, verses 18, I'd like to thank our apostle and the first lady for the opportunity to encourage on sowing in the kingdom. Deuteronomy 8, verse 18 says, and you shall re remember the Lord your God, for He is the one who gives you the power to get wealth. Straightforward. Straightforward. No long stories. God gives us the power. 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 Hallelujah. God only wants to see your loyalty in giving. You know, I'm remembered about the scripture of the woman that, with the two mites that gave in the kingdom of God. She had the last of the last to give. And God saw that as one of the greatest gifts upon the others that were giving. Those that were giving, and they didn't even feel that they're giving. One thing I've learned that if you don't sow and feel the sowing is hard, then you're not giving properly. You have to know that, and you have to name your seed also. Whatever you do, when you give to the kingdom of God, let it, just give it to God and then let God deal with it. You don't have to do anything else. So my encouragement to you tonight, remember this. God gives you the power to create wealth. 
I pray that you are blessed with that. The online viewers, the banking details will appear on screen. Shall we all stand in the presence of the Lord? As I'd like to ask our sister internet to pray for the offering tonight. Amen. come forward and so in the kingdom praise the Lord. Church, can you please take your seats one more time? I thank you in the presence of the Lord. Before we continue, is there anybody new in the house of God? We'd love to welcome you. For those of you online that are here for the first time, welcome. This is Glory Divine World Ministries, a place to call home. Are we all family or are we anyone new here? All family. Amen. Give yourself a round of applause, family. Praise the Lord. Can you please turn your attention to the screen? We will be showing the announcements. Amen. Greetings family, welcome to Glory Divine World Ministries, your place to call home. A Rainbow Nation Church for the whole family. So what's happening in Glory Divine? Before I tell you the exciting announcements, let's go through some house rules to make sure you have a blessed spiritual experience. Firstly, we kindly request that you occupy the seats at the front of the auditorium. This will help ensure an uninterrupted worship experience for both you and the other members who may arrive late. So that way you won't miss a single moment of the action. And speaking of not missing out, if you have little ones who might become noisy or disruptive, don't worry, we've got you covered. Kindly make use of our cozy mother's room complete with live video and audio feed of the service. Also note that there is no eating or drinking allowed in the auditorium. Now we want to make sure there's enough space for everyone, right? So please respect and adhere to our parking attendants when directed. We know accidents can happen. So we want to remind you that our management and staff will do everything possible to ensure your safety. However, we indemnify ourselves against any injury or theft that may occur outside of our control. Now let's talk about the bathroom situation. Parents, kindly accompany your kiddies to the bathroom to ensure that they don't waste any of the provided hygiene products. And if your kids aren't attending Sunday school, make sure that they are accompanied by a parent or an adult when using the bathroom. Speaking of Sunday school, it is important to note that it is the responsibility of parents to hand over their kids to the Sunday school department and pick them up after the service. Ladies' bathrooms are located towards the office block first door on the left, and the men's room is located outside on your right when exiting from the main entrance. Or kindly ask a steward or an usher and they will gladly assist. We kindly request not to drink any water from the church taps as fresh, clean drinking water is provided at the main entrance of the church. 
last but not least, if you have an appointment to see the Apostle after the service, please consult a steward or an usher and they will gladly direct you to a waiting room. And now, on to some exciting announcements. Our Sunday services is at 8.30 a.m., so don't be late. On Tuesdays, come and join us for Divine Connection at 7 p.m. And for all you young people out there, don't miss our youth ministry, Getting Over Average Life, at 7 p.m. at Campus 2, which is located at Connemaraya Street and Church Square, Lang Lachter. Baby dedication will be held on the 11th of June. So if you'd like to have your little one dedicated, make sure to speak to a steward or an usher to fill in our online form. Unfortunately, due to poor attendance, Impact in Men's and Women's Fellowship will be closed for the duration of winter. Services, however, will resume in September. Last but not least, if you have made Glory Divine World Ministries your home and you would love to serve in any of our departments, please contact one of our leaders and we would love to have you on board. And if it's your first time joining us at Glory Divine World Ministries, kindly stay behind after the service as we would love to officially welcome you to the family. For more information, WhatsApp us on 081-304-9579 or visit our website at www.glorydivine.co.za. Thank you for joining us today and God bless you as you enjoy the rest of the service. Amen. Hallelujah. Shulun's getting very good at that, eh? Amen. Shall we all stand in the presence of the Lord? Thank you, Jesus. Heavenly Father, we acknowledge you this evening. As we hear, Lord, we surrender ourselves to you and we ask you, Spirit of the living God, to use us. Let your name be glorified above every name, Jesus. We are here because we need you, dear, dear, dear Lord. There's nothing that we can do without you. Give us the understanding, Lord, that as we worship you, let us worship you in truth, in spirit, and in deed. We ask you, Lord Jesus, forgive us and cleanse us of all unrighteousness. Let your spirit be upon us this day in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we acknowledge you, Jesus. We give you praise, we give you worship, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Rakao shopo shote re yara bose yara. Da 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 I surrender all to you. Everything I give to you. With hope. Holding nothing, with holding nothing, with holding nothing, I surrender to you. Everything. 
everything I give Jesus.
church, everybody, with one voice, say, my life is not my own. My life is not my own. To you I belong. I give myself. I give myself. I give myself to you. Come on, make it known to Jesus. Say, my life. Life is not my own. Father, we thank you. We glorify and we worship and we magnify your holy name. Spirit of the living God, as we have prayed, we have worshipped, we have praised. We pray, Father God, that you have come and bless us, heal us, deliver us, and most of all, come and speak to us a living word. You will direct us, lead us, guide us, teach us, empower us, anoint us, equip us, O oh God. Tonight, I pray every ear to be attentive, every heart to be receptive. Apply the blood of Jesus over everybody in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Let's give the Lord a hand. Glory to God. Amen. Let's give the praise and worship team a hand. Give yourself a hand. Give the leadership a hand. It's good to see so many of you. I know the flu is hitting a lot of people. Leadership, congregation. But thank God that the protection of the blood is over you. Amen. Say, I am protected by the blood of Jesus. I welcome everybody online. I see a lot of people are watching online. And all your prayer requests that you have been sending... Uh, we are taking it to God, and we believe that God is going to answer every prayer request. He's a prayer answering God. Church, I want to quickly get into the message. Uh, we don't have much time. Something that I spoke about two weeks ago, and I want to complete it today, because Sunday we got another message. Uh, how many of you remember, have you lost your axe head? Part one, I'll be doing part two today. Have you lost your axe head? The Word of God says, 2 Kings chapter 6, verse 1 to 7, the AMPC version. Those that are online, we welcome you. Just share this message. God is going to speak to you. Even unbelievers, those that are backslidden, just get them all together and may the presence of God be in your home. 2 Kings chapter 6, verse 1 to 7, the Bible says, The son of the prophet said to Elisha, Look now, the place where we live before you is too small for us. Let us go to the Jordan and each man get there a house beam. And let us make us a place where we may dwell. And he answered, go. One said, be pleased to go with your servant. He answered, I will go. So we went with them. And uh, when they came to the Jordan, they cut down trees. But as one was felling his beam, the axe head fell into the water. And he cried, Alas, my master, for it was borrowed. The man of God said, Where did it fall? When shown the place, Elisha cut off a stick and threw it in there, and the iron floated. He said, Pick it up. And he put out his hand and took it. We see a, a scenario which I, as an introduction, I already spoke to you last two weeks ago that uh, the sons of the prophet approached the, their spiritual father, the head prophet, because Elisha opened up a school for the prophets, and the place was small, and the sons had a burden, and they said, let's go and extend this school, so there will be more place for everybody and even for more people. And their spiritual father, Elisha, said, yes, go. You have my blessing. But all of them went and they started with zeal. They started the work with zeal. But one person had an axe. And while he was chopping the tree, the axe head fell off. And then he called, master, master, he called to his father, spiritual father. And his spiritual father came 
and uh, asked him where did uh, the axe head fall. Now when we look at the scenario, the sharp cutting edge of all his service, without which all effort was useless. So he did not lose the handle, he lost the axe head. So from a distance people might think he's still carrying an axe, but he lost his cutting edge. He lost what he needed to be productive and effective and also to do his job. So my submission to you tonight, or my plea to you tonight is, have you lost your ex head? You might be coming to the house of God, you might be doing God's work, but you are not effective anymore. The anointing, the ex head represents the anointing of God. The anointing of God has left you and you are trying to mechanically do God's work. And today I pray that God speaks to you. The Bible says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 6. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 6. Therefore let us not sleep as others do, but let us watch and be sober. And let us watch and be sober. This man was chopping and chopping and chopping, but he did not watch his axe head. And slowly by slowly it was coming out until it finally came out and fell into the river. If it fell into the bush some way, he could have just went and picked it up. But it fell into the river, deep down into the river, and he could not get it by himself. He needed help. And that is what we need to do in our life. Sometime in our own self-strength, we will not be able to come out of the situation that we are in. We need to have a spiritual contact. We need to submit under your spiritual head and come to me and say that I've lost my ex head. I've lost my passion. I've lost my anointing. I've lost my zeal. I am still in the worship team. I'm still in the leadership. I'm still a Christian, but I don't have that zeal anymore. I, I, I have to push myself to be in church. Sometimes I just have to come to church just to please my husband and my wife. If you're in that situation, God is speaking to you online. If you're in that situation, God is speaking to you. God is a God of second chance. So I pray restoration comes upon you. I pray an encounter with God happen upon you. I pray like Sunday I spoke, Brother Wendell, son, that the Holy Ghost baptism happens and you fall continuously and you burn with fire once more. Hallelujah. Say I receive in the mighty name of Jesus. So the man of God, Elisha, asked him, where did it fall? Where did you lose it? Where did you your spiritual passion stop when where how god is speaking to you today hallelujah amen to go to the very place where you lost it amen and you know exactly why you lost it what stopped in your life what stopped in your life that is causing the stagnancy that is causing that you have, don't have that love, the first love that you had for God anymore. Amen. Where did your axe head fall? Where did you lose your cutting edge? When you got saved, you were burning for Christ. You were witnessing wherever you are. You were talking about God. You had this plan that I want to evangelize in my work situation. I want to evangelize in, my, in the church. I want to run a prayer meeting. I want to do this. But where did that fire go? What caused that fire to go out? Or who caused it? I pray God gives you the strength. Hallelujah. And the enablement to deal with that. Amen. And yeah, we saw that the prophet said, Oh, master. That axe was borrowed, hallelujah, and the axe head is fallen. Sometimes it's fallen too deep for you or the grace upon your life to rectify yourself. You need the spiritual protocol to pull you out 
of the mess to pull you out and put you back on the purpose where God wants you to be. Hallelujah. Amen. Say, I want to be in the purpose of God in the name of Jesus. So getting a little deeper, the axe head represents the anointing to get the job done. Hallelujah. The axe head represents the anointing to get the job done. Because if you don't have the anointing, every small blockages will keep you away from God's house. Hallelujah. I've been suffering with sickness and, and heavy flu from Thursday. Heavy, heavy. My family knows it. Hallelujah. But I still had to do the conference. I still had to go run around, do funeral, whole day crematorium, whole day went with funeral. I still have to go and do the service at the house. I still have to go last week, Tuesday, do the, the service here. I still have to do Sunday. And it's still there, but the anointing keeps me going. Hallelujah. When I go onto my knees and I say, God, your work can never stop. When I put my foot in the house of God, I don't want to smell fever. I don't want to smell that I got a cold. So the anointing just comes and takes over. And when I come into the house of God, I don't even feel that I was sick. Hallelujah. Without the anointing, without the cutting edge, without the axe head, you cannot do the work of God. The devil will stop you from your blessing every time. Hallelujah. Because the day you don't come into the house of God, you don't know that God is waiting to open the door for you. God is waiting to heal you. And that's the day you allow the stoppages to stop you. Hallelujah. Because you don't have the anointing of God. That is why when you are born again, when you receive Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit lives inside of you. And when the Holy Spirit comes inside you, he brings an empty container inside of you. On a daily basis, your prayer life, your worship life, your praise life fills that container. On a daily basis, you must be filled with the Spirit of God. And when you are filled with the Spirit of God, it gives you power to overcome the works of the enemy. No blockages, no stoppages can stop a child of God that is on fire for God. Hallelujah. Where have you lost your axe head uh, so no man can chop down a tree with the axe handle. And many of us today is doing God's work with the axe handle and without the axe head. Hallelujah. And some of us have the axe head, but you have not sharpened it. It is blunt. And every time you hit the wood, hit the wood, there's nothing happening. And I pray tonight that you sharpen your axe head. Hallelujah. And the way to sharpen your axe head is to spend time with God, to learn the scriptures, to read the word of God, understand the word of God, meditate on the word of God, and then speak the word of God. I said to somebody on Sunday, I prophesied over that person that he's going to walk. Hallelujah. And while I was passing by, and that happened three months ago, while I was passing by, God gave me that word again to say to him, what you can do, God will not do. Hallelujah. And God brought to my attention, I told him 200 steps he must take daily. Hallelujah. And he'll start running. Amen. Jesus healed the blind man. Amen. But he said, go and wash in the pool. Hallelujah. Jesus healed the blind man, but he said certain things which your faith, hallelujah, will make you whole. God will not do what you are supposed to do. Hallelujah. If God gives you an instruction and if you don't listen to it, hallelujah, it's not God, it's you. This divided. Hallelujah. Amen. So, it takes the sharp, biting power of the axe head to eat through the wood and fell the tree. Amen. In the church, without the anointing, we are ineffective. Not only in the church, our Christian life outside. Hallelujah. When storm hits you, 
The storm becomes your God. The storm destroys you. But if you have the anointing, hallelujah, if you have the anointing, no storm can destroy you. The Bible says Jesus was walking, hallelujah, and he saw a fig tree. And the fig tree was all looking good with green leaves, hallelujah. Amen, but there was no fruit in it. It doesn't matter you if you are a Christian. You come to church, you go to youth meeting, you go to prayer meeting, you go and do, you look like a Christian, you talk like a Christian, you smell like a Christian, but it's the anointing of God over you. Jesus looked at the, free, at, the, at, the, at the fig tree, hallelujah, and it looked all good, but there was no fruit. He cursed it and it dried up. We need the cutting edge. We need the cutting edge. Tell your neighbor, you need the cutting edge. You need the axe head. Those that are watching me online, share this message. You need the axe head. Hallelujah. The Bible says all those uh, who say, Lord, Lord, hallelujah. And I'm not going to repeat what he says in the name of Jesus. So we need the axe head of the Holy Spirit. Sadly, churches have become so programmed that they have lost the axe head. Hallelujah. Amen. Women programs, men programs, youth programs, widow programs, kid programs, social programs, family programs, business programs, worship programs, marriage programs, get-together program, sad to say no exit, no Holy Spirit program. And God doesn't want to get involved in these programs. Hallelujah. God gets involved where the Spirit of God is lifted up. There's nothing wrong with this program. You can have this program, but don't forget the first priority of the church. The Holy Spirit is the CEO. You need to have a Holy Spirit program. Worship. When you worship from here, hallelujah. It is not part of the convener to motivate you. Hallelujah. Amen. It is not for the, for, the, for the church to look at the convener and the worshipers, hallelujah, singing, dancing, rejoicing. No, worship is mutual. Worship is partaking in glorifying God, hallelujah. You need to get involved in worship. The whole church needs to get involved in worship. And when you get involved in worship, you might not even look at the convener how good he is and how good the worship team is because your spirit is connected with the spirit of God. And when your spirit is connected with the spirit of God, that is the point of worship. That is when you are elevated. That is when you are, your burdens are lifted up. That is when demonic strongholds leave you. That is when habits leave you. That is when whatever you are battling with, the anointing of God sets you free, sets your family free. Hallelujah. You're going to become worshipers. Get that idea off that no, it is the worship team needs to lead you. Hallelujah. They are yet to worship. Yes, they are yet to engage you. And once they engage you, you must get engaged. When I engage a gear, the car must move forward. Hallelujah. I must not keep on engaging. The convener is there to engage you. And once you engage, you are left to worship. Hallelujah. Are you learning something? Online, are you learning something? The supernatural of God can touch you right now. Hallelujah. Your problems can go away. Poverty is already nailed on the cross. Prosperity belongs to you. Healing belongs to you. Deliverance belongs to you. At a second, your life can change. God is still the miraculous supernatural God. Hallelujah. As a result... Of these so much of programs without the Holy Spirit, there is no power in the church. Hallelujah. There is no transformation. Most of what we do in the church, we don't need the Holy Spirit. 
Hallelujah. I pray that glory divine will never go to that stage. Hallelujah. I pray with an earnest desire that we must never ever go to that stage. People can criticize me. Why don't I have that program? I, this is not a social gathering. I will never follow another church. I will follow God. And I will follow the Holy Spirit. Let's give the Lord a hand. Hallelujah. Where you go for counseling for six months, ten months, God can set you free in a second. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. God can set drug addicts free. God can set gangsterism free. Hallelujah. We just need to come to the altar and believe that God is still God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So he does not even want to be involved in this program. We might make an impact in the Babylonian system and how the world will look at the church, but there is no kingdom impact. There's no kingdom impact. Wherever there was a revival, all over the country, all over the world, wherever you study revival, revival started on the knees. You never hear me. Never start with any program, not even with food relief programs. Revival started with a knee on the knee and a surrendered heart. And God's power moved. And when God's power moved, cities were changed. Cities and nations were changed. Did God change? No, we changed. We want to serve God in the comfort of our goma goma. Hallelujah. Amen. No, God wants us to come to the altar. God wants to come. He will change you. He'll change your generations. God is a God of generation. He's a God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He's a God of your children, your great-grandchildren, and your great-grandchildren until there's a legacy. God wants to do something now that your whole legacy can change. Hallelujah. Are you with me? Say amen. Glory to God. So we have faked the power of Pentecost so long enough, amen, that the real deal is no more there. My hunger is, my heart's desire is for God to move in people's life, for cities to change, nations to change. Not just small place like Langlakta, I'm talking about nations all over the world. Got to move and got to change life. May it start from here. Hallelujah. May it start with you. May there be a fire on Sunday. The fire can burn so big that nobody can put it off. That the fire must move to every, every city all over. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, shouting, screaming, jumping, shaking, but no anointing. Hallelujah. Let's get rid of the counterfeit. Let's pray for the real, genuine life, transforming power of God. Here we see that the construction, the building project came to a halt, to a stop. Why? Because the axe head fell off. The anointing left. Hallelujah. When the anointing leave, we try every means of marketing to grow the church. Marketing, pamphlets, this, that, when the anointing leaves. The Bible says in the olden days, it is the Spirit of God when men and women that were unschooled, uneducated, preached the Word of God with power and God added to the church daily. One sermon by Peter preached 3,000 souls were saved without the microphone. Do you want that power? You can get that power right now in Jesus' name. It belongs to you. May the fire of God come upon you. May the anointing of God come upon you. May the devil run when they see you from today in Jesus' name. The exit, where have you lost it? And I close. Look like I'm going to preach this Tuesday next week again. Are you a steward? Are you an elder? Are you a congregation? Are you a Sunday school teacher? A worshiper trying to build God's house and your ex head is fallen off. And your ex head is fallen off. 
You know, I, I, I shiver sometimes to be behind this pulpit. When I have to preach, I always say, God, I know I've got a lot of head knowledge, I've got a lot of degrees, I can come and give you a lecture. But I always say, Lord, am I speaking your heart? Am I speaking what you're telling me to speak? And when I start speaking, God, don't let me get stuck. Give me the words. Give me the words. And thank God, for 31 years, he never allowed me to get stuck. In the mighty name of Jesus. <clears throat> to speak his heart. To speak his heart. What does he want for the church? What does he want his children to be? In the mighty name of Jesus. I, I sent a video clip to all the leaders today of what London is becoming. Thousands of people riding bicycle naked. Ladies and men together, all full naked. Is there right? Sodom and Gomorrah. The judgment of God is going to fall. And God is going to use you to preach the truth to those that are deceived. And he's waiting on you. You're waiting on God. God is saying, I'm waiting on you. I'm waiting on you. You are the one I chosen. I'm waiting on you. I'm waiting on you. I'm waiting on you. So church, let us not be like the fig leaves. Looks all good. From far, everything is good. I'm a Christian. I come to church. I'm even involved in the church. Hallelujah. But there's no fruit. Because Matthew 28 says, Acts 1, it says, you shall receive power when the Holy Ghost comes. And then after that power that you receive will be used to demonstrate God's power to the dying world. Wherever you be are, that power must come out of you, diffuse out of you. In the mighty name of Jesus. So if the fig tree is all good, but no fruit is useless. We can be a Christian, but no power. We're ineffective, and the devil can destroy us. We need the anointing. Say, I need the anointing. So as a steward, elder, congregation, Sunday school teacher, or a worshiper trying to build God's house, and your ex-head has fallen off, the genuine anointing has left you. We have traded the real for the funny. Our lives are just dry and we serve with no passion at all. We have mastered the art of hyping. We know how to fake the anointing. We know how to manipulate music, singing and convening. But is the anointing there? Well, Jesus is not coming for a crowd. Let me repeat that again. Jesus is not coming for a crowd. There'll be a shock when you see 10,000 people in a church and when he, only, when he comes, there might only be 1,000 going up to heaven. You might say, you might see 20,000 people in a church all rejoicing, dancing, the music is going on, the best worship team, the best music, the best lights, everything. When Jesus comes, maybe from the 20,000, 100 might go up. Jesus said, all those who call me Lord, Lord, shall not inherit the kingdom of God. But those who listen to my voice and allow my Holy Spirit to guide their lives. May I pray the Holy Spirit guide your life from this day onwards. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank God for grace. Thank God for mercy. Thank God for forgiveness. We sin today, God can forgive us. We fail today, God can forgive us. But God doesn't want anyone to be ineffective. He says there will come a time when our works will be tested. Everything that is wood and grass will be burnt. Meaning whatever we are be doing as a duty and as a religion, will carry no weight with God. 
But what you're doing with love and passion and zeal under the anointing of God and you are doing to affect people's life shall be rewarded. Shall be rewarded. In the mighty list and in the presence of God. Have you lost your accent? With God's grace... I'll preach another part on this. Just to show how God is a God of second chance. God gave that man who lost his accent a second chance. He called his spiritual father. Master, I've lost my accent. And it was borrowed. It was borrowed. Remember the anointing over your life is borrowed. Doesn't belong to you. You can lose it. Or it can be taken away. It belongs to the Father in heaven. To the Holy Spirit. So whatever you have in your life, the gifting and the anointing is borrowed. It doesn't belong to you. It's lent to you. To be effective on earth so if you lost it God is saying I can give it to you I can restore you right now you can once more have that seal that emptiness inside of you can be full again once more in the mighty name of Jesus but there are spiritual protocols the prophet said my spiritual father I lost my accent which was borrowed God gave me something I lost it and the father spiritual father said where did you lose it go back to where you lost it and I pray tonight where did you lose it when did you stop coming to church when did you stop praying when did you stop living as as how God wanted to live in your homes when did you I'm talking to those online join the wrong people that influenced you God said the master said the father said take me to that place let me walk with you let me walk with you take me son Take me with you. Remember that. Take me with you is totally different from the son making a vision. The vision was already there. The son recognized spiritual protocol that the spiritual father, the grace on the spiritual father can restore him once again. So they walked together and they came to the place where they lost. And the spiritual father took a stick representing a tree. And the Bible says Jesus hung on the tree representing the cross, Jesus Christ. The spiritual father broke the tree through the wood and something that was natural became supernatural. The law of nature was reversed and iron floated. Why? Because spiritual protocol was observed. The spiritual father was involved, God was involved, and the supernatural happened, and the axe head was restored. And I pray tonight, right now, as you recall where you lost your axe head, where you lost your passion, where you lost your anointing, those that are on the line, I'm talking to you right now. And if you agree with me as a spiritual father right now, I'm calling upon the name of Jesus right now. And may the supernatural happen in Jesus' name. And may the anointing come upon you. And may the cutting edge be replaced in Jesus' name. 
receive, 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 receive the power of God. Receive the anointing of God. Receive the healing of God. Receive the restoration of God. Receive the double portion of God. Receive the blessings of God. Receive the supernatural of God. Receive the miracle of God. May there be right now a turnaround in your life. Turn around in your finances. Turn around in your health. Turn around in your marriage. Turn around in your business. Turn around in your work. Turn around in every situation. God is able. God is able. God is able. I prophesy things are turning around right now. I prophesy restoration is coming over you. I prophesy something that has been delayed. Right now it's being accelerated. I prophesy those doors are opening up. I prophesy in the name of Jesus your story is changing. I prophesy the Holy Ghost power, the Holy Ghost power, the Holy Ghost power come upon you right now now I prophesy a double portion of anointing coming your way I prophesy every assignment of the devil and demonic powers be cancelled right now in the name of Jesus I prophesy the presence of God drug addicts are set free alcoholics are set free I pray families are being restored right now I pray you are rising up right now I pray what kept you from success Succeeding right now, the barriers are breaking, the boundaries are being removed, every obstacle are being removed right now. Come on, somebody, receive the power of God, receive the filling of the Holy Spirit, receive an anointing, receive your cutting edge back, receive your axe back. Come on, somebody, shout in the presence of God, lift up your hands and glorify the Lord, lift up your hands and receive the anointing the supernatural God oh yes God is about to do something in our midst God is touching you right now every assignment against you is neutralized every witchcraft against you is cancelled every omen against you is cancelled I speak into your homes I speak into your family I speak into your career I speak into your health I speak into your finance. May your bank balance increase. May different avenues of financial inflows come your way. May there be a blessing. May there be an overflow. May there be an abundance. May there be an increase. May the all stoppages be removed in the name of Jesus. May your axe head be restored. I said, may your axe head be restored. When you go into your homes, there will be peace. When you go into your workplace, there will be peace. Doctor's report will be turned around in the name of Jesus. May that increase come. May the promotion come. May the business idea come. God is still able to do exceedingly and more abundantly more than what we can believe in us. He's still God. He has never changed. May the supernatural happen in the name of Jesus. Every hand is lifted up. Father, we thank you. We seal your children with a blessing. We seal your children as the anointing rested over them. As the anointing rested over every person, every stumbling block is removed. Every assignment of the devil is cancelled. Every setup against them, O oh God, right now is removed by the fire of God. I pray whatever has been delayed shall be accelerated, O oh God. Any person taking their names in destruction, they shall be silenced 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Disperse angels to fight the battle. Raise them up. Those that wanted the downfall shall see the promotion in front of the eyes. Whatever the enemy has tried to do, you are turning it around for their betterment, for your glory. It shall be done. May supernatural doors be opened up. Destinies be made. Destinies be made. Destinies be made. Destinies be made. May there be, O oh God, a floodgate open up. May there be an open heaven upon them, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. Say, I receive. I seal it by the blood of Jesus. It is mine. Good news shall come to me. In Jesus' name. Let's give the Lord a hand. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Amen. You may be seated. Are you blessed, church? Take this declaration and don't fool around with it. It's on Facebook Live, Lordy Divine World Ministry. Go and forward it and listen to the last part and receive that declaration. If you can write it down, write it down. And speak it over your life on a daily basis. Paul said to Timothy, make war with your prophecy until it come to pass. And nothing can stop it from coming to pass. Because God says, I watch my word to perform. Isaiah 45 verse 11, my word shall come to pass. In the name of Jesus. So I prophesy it shall come to pass. It's your faith that's going to bring it to manifestation. In Jesus' name. Amen. Are you blessed? Give yourself a hand to be in the house of God. Those that are online, just share this message to 10 people quickly. In Jesus' name. When I want to go there, I want to see over 100 shares. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's stand as we close. This is we meet on Sunday. Bring somebody along. Invite somebody along. I'm going to be preaching on Pentecost and I'll be completing the sermon that I preached on Sunday. Pentecost, the power of Pentecost. We all need the power now. We can't do it on our own. We cannot do it on our own. We need supernatural power. And I'm going to be preaching on that. What God can do through you. Something that you battle for in life. God has done it at the cross and he wants you to just receive that power. In Jesus name. Lord, I thank you for every person that is here. I pray the love of God, the peace of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit to be with us. May your protection, your provision be with us till we meet again in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a wonderful week. We love you. We're praying for you. God bless you. Amen. We invite you to become a partner in our global ministry, which is touching lives and transforming situations all over the world. When you become a partner, you are investing in fertile soil and the Lord will richly reward you with heaven's best. Church banking details are on the screen. And if you'd like to sow a seed of honor, directly deposit it into Dr. Ryan's personal account. For e-wallets, apps like Cash Send, Standard Bank Instant Money or any other instant cash services, kindly use our church WhatsApp number to send the voucher number as well as collection pin. Because when you sow in good soil, Indirectly, your money is going to places where you cannot go. When you partner with the Kingdom Vision, God will make sure that your needs are provided for. So sow your seed today.